All right, it's time for a question from the mailbag. You guys can ask me questions on Facebook anytime you want, and I will do my best to answer them. And one of the ones I got recently was, why is sulfur dioxide polar? The short answer is that because of the lone pair on the Lewis structure of sulfur dioxide, it gives the molecule a bent, a nonlinear or V-shaped shape, according to Vesper. And because of that not perfectly symmetrical geometry, the dipoles themselves aren't symmetrically distributed, and so the molecule overall has a molecular dipole. Now, the dipoles themselves are caused by the fact that sulfur and oxygen have different electronegativities. So even though ozone, which has the exact same molecular geometry, is nonpolar, that's because the three oxygen molecules in ozone have the same electronegativity, so there's no bond dipoles to make the molecule polar. That was a lot of talking. Let's draw the Lewis structure for sulfur dioxide. Sulfur brings six valence electrons with it, and oxygen, which there are two of in sulfur dioxide, SO2, if you haven't figured that out, also brings six each, which is 18 valence electrons total to be distributed throughout the molecule. Sulfur will be in the center, oxygen's on the outside. I always do my single bonds first, then I fill the octet on my outer atoms, which I'm about to do this way. That's 16 electrons total. And then I dump all extra electrons on the central atom. Then I move pairs from the outer atoms into double bonds or pi bonds in order to complete the octet or actually to alleviate any formal charges that are found in the molecule. The formal charge on this oxygen atom here is minus one. The formal charge on this sulfur is plus one and the formal charge on this oxygen here is zero. Now this is just one resonance structure that exists for SO2. Another resonance structure has the other oxygen double bonded. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, and still a lone pair on the sulfur. But there is also another valid resonance structure where the sulfur is double bonded on either side. where the oxygen has a formal charge of zero each, and the sulfur, oh, this sulfur has a formal charge of zero as well. Well, isn't that fascinating? In any case, all three of these are valid resonance structures, and all of them have a lone pair on the sulfur atom. This gives it an A, X, 2, E, Vesper geometry, which is bent. It's like a trigonal planar molecule, where all of the bond angles are 120 degrees, except one of the bonds is actually a lone pair. That actually causes the bond angle to compress down to, I don't know, 118 degrees approximately. But long story short, because the molecule is bent like this, and the sulfur and oxygens have different electronegativities, we have two bond dipoles that pull away from the sulfur and point towards the oxygen. These cancel each other out in a left-right direction, but they both point down so they don't cancel out in an up-down direction. Therefore, because the bond dipoles do not cancel out, the molecule itself has a dipole and it makes the molecule polar. The end. Best of luck to you.